It's nine o'clock on Friday morning. Joe is here. Brett is here. Madeline is here. Nicola is here. I'm here. We're going to Paris. Where's he coming from? Here comes the Schroeder. Lucy. Faye. Is that all you're bringing, Lucy? Yes, I'm a very light picker. That's very impressive. Well done. I didn't believe that. That is impressive. Well done, Lucy. The hammer, downside. I'm impressed. The gang is slowly coming together for a trip on the Eurostar. Here comes Mia. Hi. You're travelling light as well. That's pretty impressive too. The girls have done very well. Except for Nicola. <laughs> it's waterproof. It's, it's, <laughs> and it's light. You, you can wheel it. It's Mulligan. <laughs> Hello, Mully. Bonjour, Mulligan. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour, George. Bonjour, <laughs> This is Colin's bag. <laughs> it is the biggest bag on this trip. <laughs> Official. <laughs> The Dynamis team settles down for what will become a legendary trip. A legendary trip with the likes of Steve Schroeder. The Schroeder of Kensington. Then again, last card. Should I have to pick one up there? I'd put Ace down and change it to club and hope we never got club. And now we have Dynamis, Chairman, Marcus, Marku. Thank you very much for taking us all to Paris. Why don't you point the camera at me, Steve? That would help. <laughs> I think it was at you, wasn't um, it? It's a pleasure. I don't think many companies would do this for their staff. No, I agree. Dynamis does. It loves its staff. It loves its people. It loves its business. <laughs> Cheers. Bonjour, George. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Hello, I'm standing in the toilet of the Eurostar uh, and I just want to share with you how upset I am with a thick fat blonde woman that threw Bano out of his seat. Uh, I will show you her now, she's so rude. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the group has now arrived in Paris. We're now going to get the tube to the hotel. I wonder where I'm going to go tonight. I don't know where I'm going to go. There's so much choice. Crazy Horse? What's Crazy Horse? Colin, I'm not going there. Colin. Action. I've stayed in some of the best hotels in Europe and really this ranks as one of the very <laughs> finest. Six to a room. Hello. This is George's Will Young impression. I haven't seen very much of me, so uh, here we are again. Uh, we're in Paris with Lord Schroeder of Kensington. It's an impressive structure. I'm just going to do Bano's thoughts. That's amazing! Look at that! That's unbelievable. No, no, I'm going to do your thoughts. You're going to do my thoughts? Yeah, I'll do your thoughts. I think I'd rather be in control of my own No, no, just stare at it. That's amazing! Check it out! It's made of metal! <laughs> no, you need to stand up a bit. It was this big. No, no, you need to stand up. Stand up. Are you going to miss this boat? No, lift. <laughs> yeah, perfect, George. Brilliant. I got that photo. Brilliant. <laughs> Half the party have decided to go up the Eiffel Tower. And uh, George, Colin, Vicky, Madeline, Adam and uh, myself have decided to take a boat tour on the same. Because we are... Insane. On the river side. We've just arrived at Notre Dame, the famous cathedral, uh, made famous by the Hunchback of Notre Dame, starring Charles Lawton and Vivian Lee. 
I filmed my watch as a child and was haunted for many years afterwards. But maybe it taught me to be tolerant towards others. That's amazing, George. It's, it's like you're holding the tree. <laughs> George thinks I look like a bit of a knob in this <laughs> this hat. I think you look terrific. Uh, but it's my home. I'm paying homage to Monsieur Hulot uh, and my French teacher, Mr. Stein, who used to show us so many of Mr. Hulot's films. Uh, the beers have arrived. <laughs> you should be with your German. Look at this. Look at this. Look at my face. It is, it's bigger than your face. It's bigger than my face. Oh, it's lovely beer. I've, I've ordered, just for the record, a, a massive hot chocolate. The party from the Eiffel Tower have come and joined the boat party and we're just sitting here uh, just having a few beers and kicking back. Has the guy come over and Pete Doherty look? Okay, go. This is Anthony from Eaton Road. Eaton Road. Eaton Road. Eaton Road. Eaton Road. Eaton we're now waiting to go out unfortunately some fools uh, were decided to take a cab instead of getting the tube so they're now late I mean what do you think about that George? I think it's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> I think if you get a tube you should know if you get a taxi you should know where you're going Colin has just ordered brilliantly in French I should have recorded it we're now at the uh, restaurant Hausman uh, as you can see it's a very empty restaurant but we're early because we're Brits so busy what goes on tour stays on tour <laughs> we've had dinner and Colin Colin is now taking charge of what happens next and guess what we're stuck in the middle of a street in Paris wondering what the hell we're going to do next just miles away, just miles on a wild goose chase so wild. That's what happens when Colin takes over. Bags. 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 What's bag space? Bags. What is bag space? The old guy. Have a look at him. Bag space. Bag space is Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> Picture me on bag space. Yeah, he did. He has that. Yeah. We're in the club. Bano was in here all the time. We've made it into the coolest electro club in Europe. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> electro! Jean Michel Jarre in your heart out. It's about two in the morning now in Paris and Colin and the hardcore crew including people like Yasmin and Steve and Lucy have decided to stay but the softer wimps like us are going home. Goodbye and good night Paris. We had a wonderful time. It was great, really good.